This video will talk about how to design a driven pile by using dynamic formula in Hong Kong. There are many formula to estimate the bearing capacity of the pile. For example the Meyerhofs method, alpha method and beta method. All this formula are based on the design parameters of the supporting soil obtained from suitable test, which call static formula. By using that method to estimate the pile capacity, we need to have the soil parameters, such as the unit weight, the shear strength parameter, like cohesion, or friction angle, different from static formula. In dynamic formula, we are based on the data obtained from the driving test. There are many formula that you can use. For example the ENR formula, the Danish formula, and highly formula and so on. Today I would like to talk about highly formula. For the other method, you may refer to the following notes and example. Highly formula has been widely used in Hong Kong. According to the dynamic equation, the bearing capacity is mainly based on the effective fall of the hammer, which is also the power of the hammer, and the compression of the soil. For example WH here, is the weight of the hammer, and the H here, is the drop height of hammer. These conditions are affect the intensity of driven. In terms of settlement, which is mainly divided into temporary compression, and permanent settlement, we will talk in detail in the next part. To conclude, the dynamic method is mainly using the intensity of the blow, and the corresponding settlement ratio, to estimate the capacity of the pile. For the following part, we will talk about the process of measuring the final set data. Let's go to the video first. Here is the process of measuring the final set data. Welcome back to the classroom. In the video you had seen the worker was conducting a pile driven test for the final set data by manual method. In the process, worker need to draw on final set graph with a pencil in close proximity of the subject pile to trace the pile movement on a piece of paper under a driving hammer, then interpreted by the site staff to check whether the pile set and the temporary compression of the pile and soil data obtained for the series of 10 blows satisfy the final set tables derived from the driving formula. As you can see here are the example of the final set graph. There are total 10 curves in the graph that correspond to the 10 blows. Because of the elastic properties of the material, the curve will recover part of the distance after each blow. This part is the temporary compression of the soil and pile, which is CP and CQ and the lower part is the final set also the penetration of pile, the value of S. By using this data we can estimate the pile capacity by using the dynamic formula. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching.